This learning object is a production of Abu Dhabi Men's College, Center of Excellence for ICT and Learning Technology. Hello, this is an example of a practical application of calculus. Prior to this task, you should have covered the derivative of functions. So what is this task? You are going to assume that you're the general manager of a company, which they use cardboard boxes like this, and make open top boxes such as this for fruit market. Obviously, they are much bigger because you are needing to put fruit inside here. Now, from this cardboard box, you can make different size boxes. And the bigger the box, the more fruit you can put into these cardboard boxes. Therefore, you will be needing less number of boxes, consequently less number of sheets of papers. And that will result in maximizing the profit of your company. Now, what sort of steps do you need to take in order to solve this practical problem? First of all, you have to make a mathematical model out of this practical situation. Afterwards, you need to find an appropriate mathematical technique in order to solve the problem. Thirdly, you obviously have to use mathematics again to justify your answer, and in doing all these, you can obviously refer to internet, sky is the limit, and you can find loads of information. Now, how do we make a mathematical model out of this? I have a cardboard, box, a cardboard piece of paper, and I want to make a box out of this. The first thing I do, I make four corners, four squares in each corner. Then I cut them off, which you have something like this. Then obviously you fold these like this. And by doing that, you will end up with a box. Depending on what size is square you are going to cut from each corner, you will end up with different size boxes. If you cut a small square, you will have a box like this, a wide box. If you cut a bigger square, you will have a box like this. But we are interested in the box with the maximum volume. So what we try to do, we try to find a function for the volume of this box. How do we do that? Obviously, if I look at this one, when you cut it and you make the box like this, this cut becomes the height of your box. And this one, if you look at this, is really the length of this side minus twice whatever this is. So if I go into a mathematical model, this is my paper. And in order to make it simple, I'm going to look at a specific size paper, 60 by 60. And I am assuming that I'm cutting off square which is x by x. So therefore, I will end up with a box which is 60 minus 2x, 60 minus 2x, as you can see here, and the height is x. And the volume can simply be found by the base area, 60 minus 2x, 60 minus 2x, times the height, which is x, and if you multiply the brackets together with x outside, you will end up with a function for the volume. 
Now we want to find the value of x which makes v maximum. For this, we use calculus. We know if we find the derivative of a function and equal it to 0, then that will enable us to find the, the value of the variable which makes that function maximum or minimum. So what do we do? We have created a problem, we carry on, and we are using the calculus. This is our function, we find the derivative. In order to find the value of x, which makes v maximum. We find the derivative of v, and we know the derivative is found by multiplying the power of x by the coefficient, reducing the power by 1. So it can easily be seen that the derivative is 3,600 minus 480x plus 12x squared. We put the derivative equal to 0, and that will give us an equation which if we solve this equation, we will end up with two values. One value is 30 centimeters, x minus 30 equals 0, x is 30. And the other one, x minus 10 equals 0, which will give me x is equal 10. Obviously, x equals 30 is not an appropriate answer. Since the whole size of the paper was 60, if I'm going to cut square 30 by 30, I will end up with a volume which is zero, and that's really the minimum value. The one we are interested in is x is equal to 10 centimeters. And for x equals 10 centimeters, if I substitute it into the volume function, I will end up with the maximum value of the volume, which you can easily see is 16,000 centimeter cube. Now, how do we know, how can we justify that this is really the maximum value? Again, going back to calculus, we can use the second derivative to justify our answer. We know if the second derivative for the given value of x is negative, it indicates that this value of x is providing us with a, minimum, with a maximum value. Now, if we go to the next one, we can see the second derivative is minus 480 plus 24x. And if I substitute the value of 10 within this function, you will end up with minus 240, which is a negative value, indicating that the value x equals 10, providing us with a maximum value for function v.